what's up with it. It's your resident Dew fanatic, and today we're taking a look at my first taste of my second ever international Mountain Dew flavor. Mountain Dew Supernova. No, not this Supernova. This stuff is far too long ago for me to have taken a first taste on camera. In fact, the democracy that had this stuff was what really got me into all the different flavors of Dew and collecting and everything that my life has become. So, blame it on that promotion. But more so with the Revolution flavor, of course. So, you know, the stuff we're going to be looking at today, again, not this, you know, not Strawberry Melon. We're taking a look at what is affectionately referred to by many members of the Dew community as Euronova. This stuff comes from Finland, to the best of my recollection. And again, you have a Mountain Dew logo. He adapts the Supernova of the 2011 design, as you can see from this one. But this stuff, uh, again, spelling out Mountain Dew, has a Supernova logo. This is not Strawberry, strawberry Melon, if I can speak to save my life. This is, from what I've been told, Raspberry Lemon. So that sounds a lot closer to something like Voltage. And the last flavor we tried, Blue Shock, was Raspberry Citrus. So I see all these countries are kind of taking a play out of, well, the United States book. Yeah, um, it smells a lot like Voltage. So. Let's see if this was worth the money. Hmm. A lot of lemon. Super smooth lemon, though. And I would say that even on just a sip of that, I kind of like it better than the tart flavors of some of the lemonade Mountain Dew flavors we've had in the past. Um, spark comes to mind the Game Fuel Lemonade. The Spiked Lemonade was probably my favorite of those, the regular one, and even better than the Raspberry edition of that. Though this has Raspberry in it as well. They really like la Raspberry Lemonade, if you can't tell. Um, I think that this, even after just a sip, blends those flavors together far better than any of them. It's almost, it, it's barely carbonated. It's almost not like drinking a soda. More so a fruit juice or, you know, a, a lemonade, some sort of concentrate that manages to balance the flavors. So it doesn't, it, it's more like even a tea almost. Like, it's the kind of flavoring you would expect in a brisk, but add a little bit of carbonation, um, mellow it out. It, it's pretty good. Wow. It's very refreshing. I was unsure. I figured this would be, you know, just another raspberry with a hint of your citrus, but no. Very lemon forward. Almost 50-50 or 45-55. Very, um, very palatable. I, I like it. I almost want to get off camera here and just keep sipping away at it because that is a flavor that I could see myself reordering, whereas Blue Shock, more so, I would put to the side. I wouldn't waste my money on it as much because this is nice. I really do like it. It's uh, a little bit expensive, you know, because it's an import, but it's worth your dollar if you like all the sort of things I described about it. So go out there. Uh, online, there's several different shops that have them, and uh, if you're in the Dew Discord, the Dew Drinker Discord, there are members on there. There's one or two at least I know that have it for sale. So make somebody happy, put a little bit of money in their pocket, and get you a real nice drink. You're gonna enjoy it. I'm almost certain. So that's it for this time. Next time, uh, or at least for the next international flavor review, we'll be looking at the Passion Fruit Frenzy, which will hopefully be vastly different than anything we've tried so far. So, from all your supernovas of past to the present version, I will send you off with a strong do the do.